Hello everybody and welcome back to How to Build a Home Studio. My name is Yuval Ron and in this episode we are going to discuss the next two foundations of the soundproof room of the home studio. One of them is the double door, the door that you see right behind me. The other is the walls frame, the frame that stands behind these wooden panels here and is actually the structure that holds this entire room together. Now, in the first episode, we have built what we call the floating floor, the floor that lies on top of the actual floor and prevents any sound coming from the room to the rest of the building. In this episode, we are going to build another two components which are standing on top of the floating floor and thereby they are minimally touching any external walls or external doors. This is important when we come to soundproof a room because what we want to create is actually what's known as a room within a room. That means for, that for every internal wall there is an external wall and between them there is a gap of air preventing sound from the outside coming into the room and vice versa. Now I'm going to show you how the double door looks like. So as you can see the external door is actually a plain normal door. The internal door is a heavy door, actually a fire door, originally meant to prevent fire from coming into the studio, but can also prevent anything else like air and sound. If you notice around the internal door, there are rubber stripes and some acoustic foaming. These are two other measures that we use to prevent air coming from inside the studio and cross to the external walls through the gap that is between the doors. Now if you listen carefully, you could hear this whoosh of air coming out when I close the door. That is because the pressure of the closing door made the air escape in the only route that it could. And this is yet another proof that we have good isolation from between the doors. Now, this is the time to say that the only exception we made in this project to the room within a room principle was with the internal door because it's such a heavy door we couldn't just rely on it standing by itself and we had to screw it to the uh, external walls. But other than that, all other components in this room are completely detached from their external counterparts. And this is the first part that we are going to watch uh, how to build the internal door frame and the internal door. How to build a home studio, episode number two, here we go. So now we got the door attached through the door frame to the walls and on top of the floating floor. Now before we move on to the next part which is the walls frame, it's important to remember that in most rooms 
there are actually two weak spots. One is the door that we just taken care of, but the other is the window. And the window is even weaker because usually it's a thin layer of glass transferring a lot of sound in and out. And once it's being taken care of, usually it means double glazing or double layering of the window. Now, fortunately, in my case, uh, the window was already double layered so that I had a gap of air between two windows. In other studio projects, this is not necessarily the same case and this should be taken care of in accordance to the same principle of a room within a room. Now, speaking of constraints, the walls frame was also built under some constraints. We had to bring the parts in and build the walls frame inside the room because it was too big to uh, move through the door. Also, we built it half and half because uh, we used the floor as our working space, as you will see in a second. And we had to build half of the walls frame and half of the wall frame for each side of the room and only then integrate between them. Let's watch now how this is being done.
So that's it for today. Uh, we have covered a lot of ground with the double door, the double window and the wall frame. In the next episode, we are going to focus on the ceiling frame, which sits on top of the wall frame, and then finalize everything with inserting chunks of rock wool and uh, covering everything with the wooden panels. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, you are welcome to subscribe to the channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. If you have any more questions or comments, please feel free to comment on the video. And I'll see you next time in the next episode of How to Build a Home Studio. In the next episode, we are going to focus on the ceiling frame, which sits on top of the wall frame, and then fill everything with chunks of rock wool and uh, finalize with the... How do you call this shit? <laughs>